Okay, what would you like the answer to be, yes or no? Well, if you're asking your horse to do something, I'm sure you'd like the answer to be yes. So I'm just going to introduce you to what I do before I ask the question. When we've got young horses here and starting young horses under saddle and there's, there's a lot of new things going on and a lot of things uh, they might not want to do really, a lot of things they might want to say no to. So before I ask them to do anything that could potentially be a no answer, I'll just check them out a little bit and I'll make sure I get the answer yes in six different yields before I ask them to do whatever I'm going to ask them to do. And that could be to ask them to stand still while I pick up their feet. It could be even just to lead them out of their pasture. So I'm here today with Cassidy in the arena, but there are plenty of horses that I would have already done this in the pasture before I thought to move them out. So already in their little paddock or their little enclosure, um, whatever it might be. But those yields very simply are forwards, backwards, hindquarters, and forehand. Keeping in mind there's a right side and a left side, so you've got two hindquarter yields and two forehand yields. And we want it to be a yes. So a yes is a positive answer. We don't want it to be that typical New Zealand horse answer that, yeah, no. We don't want that, okay? We want yes. So what does a yes look like? A yes looks like your horse actually doing more than you. And if they're not doing more than you, then I will do more and ask them to, hey, change what you're doing now. And as he's changing what he's doing, then we'll stop. We'll take a little while and then we'll revisit that. And I'll ask the question again. And what I'm looking for is a yes. In other words, you start doing more than me. So forwards can be a variety of things. I've led him from where I called him to here. So that's pretty much done. But it could be a draw in. It could be something a little more energetic than just leading him. Uh, but there's a lot of benefit actually in just leading a horse for a period of time. So if you do it well um, So that is something as you lead a horse you want to see are you dragging him? Is he positive about it? Is he coming up? Uh, back up is an obvious one. I guess we know that horses can invade your space and if they learn that you yield to them That's going to fl have flow-on effects that you don't really want it to have So part of the reason for backing a horse up is get them into the frame of mind where they learn they yield from you. And they're just asking that question all the time, who yields from who? So the back up, we'll look at it, and the hind quarter and the forehand as well. We're doing this using a driving pressure, so I'm trying not to touch my horse. That doesn't mean I won't touch him, it doesn't mean um, I'll deliberately not do that, because as soon as my intention becomes that, well, now he loses the, the need to move. So to start with, we'll look at, at backing, and it doesn't have to be much more than a short range. I'm just looking for some positive uh, response here. So I lift my energy up, say, will you back up? And I look at that, and whilst you could look at any backup and say there's room to improve on that, and there's a couple of things there, I you know, mentally go, yeah, but I could get that a little better and that a little better. It was a positive response. I lifted my energy up and he went, oh, what's that? And then I started to lean into him, like I'm going to start driving, there's a little rhythm, and he backed up. If he didn't, I would have done a lot more, but I didn't need to. So to me, that was a yes. That's what that would look like to me. Um, I've, as I said, I've already led him here, but let's see about a draw. So I might step back here. So these are our little warm-up type things we can do, little things like that. He, he yielded, came in quite nicely. So again, I'm quite happy with that. Can I walk into his hindquarters? So if I walk in here, what I want to have happen is I want that to open up in front of me, just like if I went to the supermarket and you know they've got those glass doors, automatic doors, I just want to walk straight up those doors and have them open up for me before I get there. And you get to a point where you are so sure about it, you don't even think about it. Okay, and that's how I want you to be. I want you to be so sure that's going to happen that it happens. So we come in here, I go a little bit behind the drive line, so behind about here, so that it's an isolation. I do want him stepping forwards. <laughs> He's almost drilling a hole there. Now, that was a lot of going around with the hindquarter. It's because I was talking. In actual fact, if he steps three steps, he's done usually a half turn or a little bit more. And that's about all I need, really. If he can turn a half turn or more, I've kind of got him, okay? So that's really all I need. Um, the forehand, I'm gonna go all the way around. We're gonna see the whole world. 
it's the same thing. I want him to do more than me. I'm a little off center here, and that's fine. I can start like that. We're going to head out this direction. So again, as I walk in here, I just want him putting more effort into it than I am. But a full 360, a little more doesn't do any harm. And I want it to be where he just rolls away. It's no big effort on my part. He puts effort into it. He's doing more than I am. And life's good. We'll try this direction. Now, if I thought he wasn't doing enough, I'd bring my energy up and say, come on, let's go. But again, pretty good. It's not our first day doing this, you see. And it's not necessarily that I would do this every single day with my own horses, given that this is the type of response I'm getting now. But for the first wee while, I, I would. Because getting this sort of response one day out of seven is not enough. I need to get it consistently. When this becomes a consistent response that I get, then I probably don't need to do that every day. Okay. And this, of course, is going to relate directly to your riding to get them in the state of mind where they are convinced they yield from you. So if you are riding a horse that you've already proven to them that you will yield from them through how, how you've been interacting on the ground, then when you get on, it can be hard to change that mindset. But if on the ground, I set it up to where I convince them that they yield from me, I get on, I just need to not change that mindset. I just need to keep that going, okay? I don't need to do anything to mess that up. So that's really what I want. I want a horse in the frame of mind where, yes, I will yield from you. Yes, what would be your next uh, question? Because the answer is going to be yes. So that's how we're going to start. <laughs>